The biggest threat for charge point are other companies. The EV charging industry is very complex and that is what we are gonna dive deep into in this video. If you are subscribed to this channel, you know that we actually covered charge point in my previous video. We looked at the company and everything, but one thing that we didn't do is look at all the competition the charge point has got on the planet not just in the US and this is what you have on the screen right now but what I did for you I deep dive into it and this is where the spreadsheet comes into play so first of all we have charge point the revenues for 2020 were 146 million dollars and we are now gonna unveil which company is actually the biggest in terms of charging revenues on the planet but before we do that i really need you to understand where the world is going which countries are getting faster and where most of the charges are that's very important so on this basis you see that china is actually the country with more charges of all and not only that China is also the fastest growing country in terms of charges so not only they are the biggest but they're also growing as fast as possible which brings me to the biggest company in terms of charging revenues which is is gonna appear now on the screen this Chinese company King Dao T Good Electric Co. sorry for butchering the name I'm gonna put it on the screen right now so that you can see it now this company is also the largest owner of EV charging stations in China so they are the biggest there but they also have the a whopping 7.9 billion dollars in revenue and that is mostly if not entirely from charging that's a lot of revenue it also is profitable and now if we compare it to obviously charge point and if you were subscribed you know that charge point is not profitable now this company is also diversified they also have a very wide wide range of charges not only for cars but they have really all sorts of solutions and that means that they're very diversified compared to charge point that at the time of recording is probably not much diversified they are looking at diversifying and that's what we're gonna talk about in my next videos guys so if you want to stay up to date on everything about charge point this is the channel now we all know that one of the reasons why companies and the stock price of these companies go up is because the revenues go up and they are growing very fast maybe getting very close to profitability so comparing charge point and this massive Chinese company which one is growing more and faster now looking at King Dao T good electric well they grew last year which is very good actually and they actually grew by 10% in terms of sales which is actually very good compare that to charge point and then we see that actually the revenues of charge point and if you were subscribed you know that but the revenue revenues are actually going up very fast 57% and more obviously we are looking at millions here it's nothing to do with the billions of dollars that is in Dow but yeah that's what we are looking at a company that is growing very fast and we're talking about charge point now if you were thinking of investing in Kindao well one thing that you could do and I'm not really advising you to do that because it is only listed in the Shanghai Stock Exchange so take it with a pinch of salt and also is based in China so up to you but I hear what you're saying you don't care about China you just want a company that is growing very fast in the US and has got good revenues from charging and good exposure to charging vehicles well the other company that I deep dive into it and probably you know as well is Tesla it's the US wildcard because their revenues from charging is totally unknown I've deep dive into the revenues and there is nothing about it but in terms of total revenues is 31 billion dollars that was back in 2020 in 2021 is gonna be so much higher and the market knows it because it's going up it's also profitable and very diversified but there is a massive difference between investing in charge point and Tesla and you probably know that as well 
Tesla is already big and actually growing at incredible rate right now and also it's become one of the biggest stocks in the stock market in terms of market cap obviously compared to charge point if you are investing in charge point and I am that's the deal you are taking a bit of a gamble because charge point is a very speculative play not profitable Tesla is profitable so it's a completely different story but I don't see why you shouldn't have Tesla in your portfolio to be honest is a very safe play relatively speaking obviously in the stock market everything is speculative and Tesla is probably not as much speculative and charge point that's what I'm saying but what if you don't care about the US then you don't care about China some of my subscribers actually are from the UK so what if you want to invest in the UK you have charge buster that is actually the largest EV charging company in the UK yes it's not Tesla Tesla is not Kindao, they're only in China by the way. Charge point either is Charge Master. Now the revenue from the charging is totally unknown. The total revenue of this company though is $180 billion. Now you might be thinking, what the heck is going on? Well, because Charge Master is not a company that is working on its own. It's actually owned by BP, the oil company. And in fact, it's called now BP Pulse. That is what it looks like and what they have charging at home, charging on the go and so forth. And so actually that is the reason why I am not too keen on buying BP stock because it's very much linked to oil. The revenues of these companies are probably good, I'm not saying that they're bad, but the problem is that most of the revenue are from oil and from an investing point of view, big investors look at BP and don't think charging stations, they actually think oil and that's what they invest into. They don't see it as a tech company, it's an oil company. I'm personally not too keen on oil companies at the time of recording, but hey, I might change my mind if I see that there is a way to make money with them, but it's up to you, have a think about it. Now guys, let me give you a another option if you want to invest in China and you want to invest in a company that's got a lot of charges in that region and that is BYD it's actually the second company with the most charges in China and that is very good they have 23 billion of total revenues form charges is totally unknown I've had a look they are profitable, diversified, growing very fast, but there is a problem guys. And the problem is called potential delisting, something that has been affecting many companies, including Alibaba, that has been going down like a light balloon, but also other companies like Neo that has been trading sideways, but mostly going down. So BYD has been shielded a little bit. By the way, I own BYD and I want to make a deep dive into it because I think it's a good company in spite of all these fad on Chinese companies. And now let me throw in another couple of companies because I think it might be interesting for you. We have AB which is a very big company and I'm gonna look at the numbers later but AB has got uh, just literally launched the world's fastest chargers to plug into surging e-car market. They say it's the fastest charger that is in production right now. So it's called the new Terrace 360 and what it does, and this is very, very interesting. The device can charge up to four vehicles at once and can fully charge any electric cars within 15 minutes. That's great. Now, AB is a very big company and has got quite a few things going on unfortunately not many things are positive I'm afraid though and I'm showing you this in case you want to invest in AB so the revenues from charges is 220 million so but in total the revenues are 26 billion dollars it's profitable it's diversified but the growth of the revenues is basically there is little to no revenue growth the company is mature and it's a bit stagnant as well so the downside the potential downside is the dropping revenues but you don't care about these companies you want the next kid on the block the next company that is gonna have the most charges on the planet well I have an answer for you as well and here we are USA Siemens to make 1 million EV charges by 2025 now 
I don't know if this is baloney trying to attract some more investors, but Siemens to start and have this many EV charges in just four years, that is insane. I cannot really believe that. However, let's give them the benefit of the doubt and let's actually see uh, what kind of revenue Siemens is at. So they have 14 billion revenues in 2020. It is profitable as company. It is diversified. As you know, they make all sorts of things, all sorts of devices. There is little to no revenue growth and it's a bit of a stagnant company. But the EV charging market is actually developing very fast and I will make new videos when anything changes so that you're always up to date. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.